Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to go ahead and show you guys how to cut duckboard using the Amcraft tools. All right, this will be the Amcraft V group tools. Okay, so you have your red tool and you blue, your blue tool. Okay, also this method is with using the layout square. All right, so also do not forget you're going to probably need your duck knife. Uh, a tape measure just in case and then um, to be on the safe side you may want to mark your duck so I have a silver sharpie all right and then once you're finished with the duck you know you have to staple it on, with the staple flap all right, and then you tape it and what else you need a squeegee all right so now, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what you need to do first, okay? So, if you haven't done the, using the layout square before, then I highly recommend that you go ahead and do the centerline method first, okay? If you don't know how to do the centerline method, then go into my description down below, and then you'll find a link to the video of me cutting duckboard using just the centerline method and not the layout square, okay? And before I get started, now um, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up, guys, if you like the video. And let's get to it. All right, guys. So we will start with our red tool, okay? And that will be for the first, second, and third cut. And over here at the end, I always like to put my blue tool over here on the fourth cut, okay? That's your end tool. So you want to leave that there just in case because it will happen where you will forget that you need to use the blue tool and you'll keep on cutting with your red tool. All right. So let me slide this back. Let me put the layout square here. Okay, guys. So you see right here, we're going to make a 10 by six duct, all right? And I already lined up my lines, okay? With uh, using the center line method, okay? If you don't know, go ahead and check out my video on how to cut duct board using the center line method, all right? Okay. Uh, the reason why I do it like this is because for some odd reason, you have to actually take away the um, a quarter of an inch off of some of your cuts with this tool, okay? Okay. So if you look here on my layout square, I have add duct inside dimension plus half inch on first cut, okay? And then down here I have my second and third cut from second line of red tool inside dimension minus a quarter of an inch. And the fourth cut is just the inside dimension. Okay, guys. I marked that there just as a reminder for myself. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna mark our, put our duct or our layout square at 10 and a half inches right here. It's 10 and a half. And then if you notice our center mark right here, or center line for our red tool, lines up with the lines, okay? All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that. Okay guys, once you've cut your your first cut, now we're gonna go and head and do our six inch, all right? So we go with our square, our layout square, and we put it at six inches. And you do it from the second line, guys. So we go off of this line. We put it at six inches. And then what I do, only because 
if you cut it at six inches right there, you'll notice that your your red tool actually does not line up. It's about, about a quarter of an inch off. So what I end up doing is I go ahead and take off a quarter of an inch on my second cut. And now my tool lines up with the line that I have there on the duct. Go ahead and cut it. Okay, guys. Now, let me go ahead and move this over. So our next one will be the 10 inch. So, so we go 10 inches. All right, 10 inches. And then from there, we minus it a half inch, or not a half inch, but we minus it a quarter of an inch, okay? So here's our line right here. And if this ends up happening to you guys where the tool doesn't cut it straight completely and it kind of bows in, then just go off of the line that's straight a little bit upper. All right. So you go ahead and do 10 minus a quarter inch. And make sure you're keeping your, your layout square flush to the duct. All right. Okay guys, you see how it lined up right there? Okay. So we go a quarter of an inch. Lines up perfectly. All right, now we're going to our six inch. So on this last one, you do not have to worry about taking anything away. You just have to line it up, guys. Right here, see that? The last tool will be the hardest one to cut because of all the blades that it has going through, all right? Okay guys, so we have our finished product there. Now the first thing you wanna do, grab your duck knife. And on our last cut over here, you're gonna have one, two, three lines, okay? This third line, we don't need it. So go ahead. cut that okay you can go ahead and take off your ducts go ahead and take off your other pieces if you see right here we still have a little bit of insulation on the flap you see that 
So we're going to fillet that off. But first thing, you want to run your knife like this. And try your best not to go too hard because you do not want to cut the silver jacket on the other side. And we just grab our knife. It's that simple, guys. Okay, that is our finished product here. Now you just have to close it. And you see that? You have your duct. And that is with using the layout square, okay guys? So let me go ahead and close that up real quick. You need your stapler. You want to make sure your duck is flush. Okay, guys. After you've stapled it, you want to tape it. So you will need a squeegee and some sure tape. Keep in mind guys, the tape is activated by heat. So the more you keep running this squeegee on it, the better it's gonna be to make sure that it seals properly. Okay, now let's go ahead and measure it. So we wanted a 10 inch duct by six inches. So there you have it guys. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, if you liked it, please like and subscribe and have a great day, okay? All right guys, I'm gonna show a quick video of me using the layout square without using the me marking it. And I'm gonna show you that it goes by really quick if you don't have to worry about using your center line method, but this is only after you've already mastered it and you know what you're doing. So I hope you like it. And we are making a 10 by six duck. So that was our 10 inch. Now we're going for our six. Okay, that was our six. Now we're going back to the 10. the 10 inch all right guys so we're going to our last cut now on our last cut we don't minus anything that one is going to be a six inch so you see that right there six inches on our other cuts we minused 
a quarter of an inch off of the inside dimension. There you have it guys. Go ahead and cut this third one off. So lay the last part over here. Go ahead and pressure your duct together. Line those up. And now you wanna go ahead and staple it. Okay, so let's measure that. See that, you're 10 by six duck, guys. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, don't forget, please like and subscribe, guys. But that was the quick way without having to mark up your duct or anything. After you've gotten a good little um, practice in, then the layout square is a way better method. All right, guys. And like I said, um, on your first cut, you want to add the inside dimension and a half inch, okay? And then after that, your second and third cut from second line of red tool, you want to do your inside dimension and then take off about a quarter of an inch. And I found that that's what works for me um, you guys can play around with it. Maybe y'all have a better method, but this is the way that my duck comes out perfect for me. So, so I hope you guys like my little tutorial. Um, have a great day. All right.